scramble. Bukestad able to sweep it back to Moser. Then Bukestad heads off. He was out there for the faceoff, and now Michelli steps on for big number 17. With Keller and Moser, it's Lindholm with Backlund and Anderson for Calgary. Michelli, nice move at the line. Here's Keller. Shoots. Love saved by the runner. And gives the puck to Backlund. He gave it away to Keller with a pass in front, but it goes right to Lindholm. And now he'll bring it out. Leads the Flames to center. On the wing to Backlund. Fed over to Anderson. Anderson shoots. Ingram save. Rebound to Keller. Michelli breaking through the middle. There's the pass. And Michelli has to chase it down, so he won't have a chance for a shot here. As he's forced to the boards by Anderson and makes a pass over to Kerfoot. Jersey. And you can hear the communication there as Michelli needs to get off, which he does. And now on comes Kraus. Cattery pressures the puck. Kerfoot back to Kraus. Over for Jersey. Was tipped. Kraus gets it back. Here's Jersey. Doesn't shoot. Into the corner for Lawson Kraus. Jersey goes to the front of the goal. Kerfoot with the puck. All the way across now for Sean Dersey. And a minute and a half gone in overtime. Here's Kraus. Dersey. Alex Kerfoot. Cadbury watching him. Kerfoot drops it off. Here's Gunther just at the back of the shot. He put it wide, and that comes all the way around. It will go all the way back inside Arizona territory. Flames need a change. Get three fresh skaters off the bench. Arizona tries to take advantage. Here's Cooley in. Logan Cooley. A little zigzag move. Turns back to the blue line, and he'll work it all the way across, trying to shake Uyghur. Cooley. Gunther. Gets around Pospisil. Kicked away by Vladar. Picked up by Pospisil and dropped off. Connor's area now. Lining up through center. Over the line, Zeri cuts to the middle, drop pass, pass to Sale, stopped by Ingram. Rebound, Ingram scoops that up. He'll play it quickly to Cooley. Keller knocked away from him. Pospisil tripped up on the play as he flipped it behind the net. Here's a long pass. Cooley on a breakaway. The rookie for the win. Shot away. Gets it back, though. Walks out of the corner. Cooley again. That goes off the stick of Zeri. One of the goal. Puck in the corner. It's Hannafin on the attack. Two on one. Turns back with two minutes left in overtime. Gives the puck over to Dersey, but they had too many men on the ice. And with a minute 57 left, the Flames will get a power play in overtime. Oh, wow, what a mistake by the Coyotes. They were so tired. Bench minor penalty, too many men on the ice. But I don't know why the guy, the player, I think it's Moser, I could be wrong, why he didn't go to the near gate to go off. He goes to the far gate. There he is. He's... That's that Cooley, Cooley, actually. Yeah, it was Cooley. Excuse me. It's 92, not 90. And here is that pass to Cooley. So he was so tired. And then he shot a little bit wide. And take a look at Zeri. And oh, wow, what a great glove save by Ingram. I thought that was going wide. That was going in. And here is the earlier attempt by Cooley. I understand Cooley's a forward, and that's the gate they go in and out of. But when you're that tired, just get off. Who cares what gate you go to? Welcome to those viewers on Sportsnet West who just watched the Oilers come from behind to beat the Leafs and keep their run alive. Flames fought back down 2 0 in the third to tie this one up, and we're in overtime with a minute 57 left in Calgary on the power play for a too many men on the ice penalty against the Coyotes. Flames looking for their fourth straight win. And this was the comeback in the third, Kelly. Yes, Rasmus Anderson sneaking down and finding Blake Coleman for his 20th. And then a minute three later, Pospisil with the great speed. And Cadre goes to the front of that. That's why we're here at 2-2 in overtime. Fifth power play of the game for the Flames. They're 0 for 4. Sharon Govich, Lindholm, Kadri, Anderson out there on the power play.
Gunther will serve the penalty. Lindholm 70%. The faceoff circle will take the draw against Alex Kerfoot. And wins it. Back to Anderson. Lindholm to Anderson. Anderson over to Sharangovich. Now Anderson again over to Lindholm. They'll switch spots. Lindholm, Rister, stopped by Abram, rebound, stopped by two, swept off the goal line. Well, the freshman Moser, not close to being over. Lindholm back at the point, works it to the high slot. Over to Anderson. Anderson feeds it down low, Cattery, backhand, Abram, save, and he's able to smother the rebound. And hang on, with a minute 22 to go in overtime, and Cattery and Dumba having a chuckle. <laughs> Boy, yeah, somehow sure. this game is still going, right? Now, Lindholm just sifts this one through. There's Kadri right in front. Kadri gets a couple of opportunities, even that one that sneaks through. And Moser, the defenseman, recognizes the puck might have an opportunity to go behind the goaltender, and that's where he waited for that and just backhands the puck into the corner. And then the last save here is Kadri again. Good opportunity. Ingram, as we've seen a few times tonight, perfect style. Cadre on the draw against Bukestad. And just pulls Cadre over. That was short yardage offense right there. <laughs> Except they blow it down. Right. You're watching the NFL playoffs. The old tush push. <laughs> but they'll reset and do it over again. This time Lindholm steps in to take the draw against Bukestad. And with this lineup, with the personnel they have, the Flames have the potential to have two one-timers on both flanks, or one-timer on each flank, that is. Sharon Govich and Lindholm and or Rasmus Anderson. A little delay as they check the clock. And we're good to go. Lindholm on his offside. That Allowed Bukestad to win the draw, and the pucks fire down the ice. Lamar way out to play it. Leaves it for Anderson. Now Sharon Govich. Little bouncing puck. Kadri follows up. Takes a look. Let's it fly. Put it just wide. Sharon Govich knocked away. Last minute of play in overtime. Puck comes back to Kadri. Kadri to Anderson with a one timer. Stopped by Ingram. Came across, turned that away. It's fired off the boards and down the ice by Matt Dumba. And there's that one-timer set up that we talked about. Anderson back to it. And bring it out of his own zone and give it to Sharon Govich. Cadry slowly in. Protects the puck towards the corner. Back to Sharon Govich with a half minute left in OT. Anderson at the line now. Takes a look over the window for the one-timer. Fan on. Cadry gets to the puck first around the board. Sharon Govich. Able to keep it in. 20 seconds left. He takes a look. Shoots. And scores! Top shelf, Sharon Govich in overtime. Another come from behind win in the third. And the Flames knock off Arizona 3 2. Well, there's that release from Sharon Govich. He had a hat trick last Thursday versus the Coyotes in Tempe. And tonight he gets his 18th goal of the season. A sneaky good release from Sharon Govich. And he rips it past Connor Ingram. That is an amazing shot. And it looks like it's a harmless play. Cadbury throws it around. Sharon Govich has to race out to the point to get it. Now watch this release quickly before the defensive can get a stick on it. He does that so confidently. Yep, there's no question about that. Even the goaltender Ingram knew he didn't even protest, didn't. Yep. He knew he was beaten with that beautiful shot. The 18th of the season for Sharon Govich. That trade looking better and better for the Flames. That's six goals now in his last four games.